Hey everyone, welcome to Whole Grain. So I have a whole lot of these mixed media wood panels to share with you. I've been doing them for a number of years. They were inspired by a body of work that I did in 2016. It was called Gables and Cables. And it was all about rooftops and wires. I was kind of obsessed with the way that P-Town is so densely built and there's so many like little cottages and houses like crammed in with lots of wires and um, it, you know utility lines and so I did that body of work and in that work there were a few pieces on wood that I grabbed the oil pastel to do the wire work because I don't like to use little teeny teeny brushes and it worked out really well and it just kind of spawned this entire body of work that I've been doing over the years and today I have so many to share with you. I have 31 pieces that I'm going to take you through. Um, so I'm James Frederick and I am an artist working and living here in Provincetown. And this is my maybe fifth show of the season. Um, and I'm excited to bring to you this work. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about how I do it um, first. So these pieces are mixed media because it's acrylic uh, paint, oil pastel, and pencil all combine to create these unique illustrations. Mostly they're all outer cape scenes. Um, you know, that's what I'm familiar with and what I'm inspired to draw. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about how they're made. Um, these panels um, are readily available um, from art supply stores and they're just usually made of birch. There's about an eighth inch of birch ply that's cradled on pine. And, you know, I get these panels, I kind of inspect them first because I want to make sure that the grain is interesting and that I can utilize it. And if it is one of the ones I've liked, then I go ahead and wash this surface with an oil, I'm sorry, with acrylic mixed with a matte medium. And I want the right viscosity. I want the grain to come through. Sometimes after I do the initial painting, I will wipe some of it off because I want the grain to show. So that dries. Um, and I'll show you what that looks like. Here's an example. So see how the grain is so much more obvious now that it's painted. Um, and then once it dries, I paint the edges this color. It's kind of a it's not quite black, it's kind of uh, raw umber and black, Mars black, I think, mixed together that I use for the edges. And then the process of painting this actually raises the grain, the moisture. So then I take this process where I smooth it out with a tool, a little squeegee. And then I get inspired by the way it looks and decide what to draw. And I go through this arsenal of millions of photos, well not quite millions, but lots of photos that I have to decide what to draw, and then I do the drawing. So the drawing is done with oil, pastel, and pencil. So you can see this is one of the lobster pot um, and of Commercial Street. And all of the fine line work is done with a really waxy pencil. Um, and then all of the larger areas and the smudging is done with oil pastel. And then those uh, materials actually cure to the surface. They dry in about mm, five days, six days. It depends on how heavy I, I layer that on. And so it looks like chalk, but it's not. It's pretty hardy. Um, I don't seal these, so I don't, don't uh, recommend that you put them in like direct sunlight or in a really damp bathroom. Um, but they uh, are quite hardy, and I love the way the effect is. Um, the contrast and the grain. So... What I'm gonna do is re uh, set this camera up a little bit differently. And you won't be seeing me, but you're gonna see the work and I'll be talking to you as I take you through the work, okay? All right, I'm back and this is the handheld version of this tour, but I wanna make sure that you see some of the detail in these pieces and there's just so many and there's a lot to see and the tripod can't really get to it. So I've reversed the camera so that um, I, you won't see any of me, but you're gonna see these pieces. So this first one is called To the Dock and it is 12 by 12. All of these first 10 are gonna be 12 by 12. 
So this is that corner of Atlantic and Commercial Street. And you can see a little bit of Long Point Lighthouse in the distance. But I really want to show off the beauty of this wood grain. Because that's what this show is all about. Whole grain. So that is uh, called To the Dock. This piece is called uh, Race Point at the Cove. So that refers to Herring Cove, which is the vantage point of this view of Race Point, which I love. So you can always see it off in the distance during the sunset, but the wood grain is pretty phenomenal in that piece. This piece is called Beached, and you may have seen this before. I used it to promote the show. Um, so you can see the wood grain and the detail. This piece is a little unique in the fact that I didn't wash it with one solid color. I did a band of kind of gray and then into blue. And what that did was it gave me the ability then to take some oil pastel and define this shoreline. Um, so this is a more unique piece. Sometimes that wood grain just inspires it, um, the drawing that I'm gonna end up doing. This is called Morning at Captain Jack's, and it's Captain Jack's Wharf, this amazing orange color that I use some of this light yellow, which really gives a beautiful um, brightness to the center. But a lot of detail here, definitely leveraging my architectural drawing style to share with you um, on these pieces. This piece is called Wood End. Um, again, beautiful grain in this one. This is a view from the bay side of the hook of uh, Cape Cod, looking at Wood End uh, with um, the land in the distance there. And now I'm gonna go down, which hopefully this will be a lot easier to do. This is called, uh, I think, Morning Harbor. And it's really a view from the East End at morning time with the sunrise. Again, the wood is a pretty incredible on this one. And this one is called Harry's Shack. And it's actually uh, the Tasha Shack. And it's one of the dune shacks um, out in the dunes here. And it's the one that Harry Kemp uh, did a lot of writing in. So the wood grain in that one too is kind of off the hook. A lot of detail there. And this piece is called Autumn Approach. And it's kind of got this autumnal kind of hue, rust color to the wood panel. But it's a view that you get as you come into Provincetown um, on 6A. And I love that view actually. So. We often call that the first house, which is that white one on the right there. Um, and then this piece is the one I shared with you about the process. It's called Lobster Pot, duh. <laughs> but it's a beautiful view down Commercial Street in the, the near East End. And this piece is called Morning on Cottage. And it's one of my favorite views here in Provincetown that I've drawn um, a number of times on these wood panels. There's actually one very similar to this in the Pam auction that you can bid on. And um, this, that one is rendered on kind of a blue panel. And this one is um, on this nice warm orange. Um, but that is Cottage Street at Tremont. So, and then I've got some large pieces up here. These are 24 by 24. And uh, let's see if I can show them off. These are not on birch wood, they're on basswood. So this piece is called Jetty Walk. And I'm afraid I'm not doing it justice, but it's 12 by 12, I'm sorry, 24 by 24. And look at the grain on that. It's just spectacular. 
So that's a nice large piece. And then next to it here, uh, this one is called Summer Days. And these are the Days Cottages, the iconic Days Cottages in Truro. So that is that. And I'll take you next through these little eight by eights. Okay, so these eight by eight panels are framed in a little white frame um, and they're deeper panels. So you'll see they project from the wall a little bit further. So this first piece is called In the Pink and it's a pink sunset dropping behind uh, Provincetown. And the next one is called Race Point Summer. And you can see the Race Point Ranger Station there. Um, just a little bit of a close up to see all the different little strokes of the oil pastel. Yes, I love how this one came out. And just like beached, it was painted with like more like two colors of paint so that I could define this shoreline. This one is called Art in the Morning. And this is that lovely sign that I've talked about before that's in front of Julie Heller's Beach Gallery. It says art, and I see this as I walk to my studio, and it reminds me every day of why I'm here, so. And this one is called, I think, Taking a Dive. And so every now and then, one of these panels um, the grain lends itself to this idea of like a ripple effect and this one worked really well for the uh, whimsical idea of this uh, whale in the harbor so this one's called taking a dive and this next piece is a similar view to that one i showed you that was called um, autumn approach but this one is small and rendered on uh, yellow and it's called coming to town so and there's not as much detail as you can see but it's smaller so i love the wood grain in that one this one is called west end close and these are two of the iconic buildings in the west end that are near captain jack's um, but on commercial street and i really love the graphic nature of this one and this one is I think it's called Race Point. Um, I, of course, have a little cheat sheet here. It's Radiant Sky at Race Point. Um, look at the grain in that one. I love that. That's just pretty sweet. This one is called Summer in the West End. And this is basically uh, that house in the West end of town that was kind of rebuilt a number of years ago, but this was before it was rebuilt. And I love the way that it looked um, in this kind of charming setting. Coming down the side street, you get to see the Coast Guard Pier in the distance. And a lot of times when I'm creating these, um, these water portions, I'm layering the pastel with light to dark so that you get this depth perception but it also the light adds this luminosity to the darker pastel that I layer on top. So that one's called Summer in the West End and this one's called Go West and it's really that same part of the town that the close-up graphic one of the piece that I called West End Close is actually these two buildings way down here are the two that are in that other piece. So this is on Commercial Street in the West End. It's called Go West. And this is one of my favorite pieces of this new collection. It's called Bike Trail, but it's a kind of a new approach with the layering of the oil pastel. I actually created a large area with the oil pastel um, on this green panel. And I love how this one came out. I think it's a great combination of pastel and pencil. 
So that's called Bike Trail. And this one is called, um, uh, what's it called? I think it's called, oh, it's called A Peak Down Cottage because this is, that, again, that Cottage Street view, but done much smaller. So it's a little simplified. Um, but yeah, that one is that same Cottage and Tremont intersection. And this one is called Through the Moors, I think. And it's really the, the jetty in, in the west end of town. And can you see the grain a little bit on that one? So I get closer, but these look great in mass. I love the impression of these together. So I have just a few more to share with you. Uh, seven more actually, so a little more than a few. And then I'm gonna go back to some of these 12 by 12s. So this one is called uh, Three Sailboats. And you can see the detail in that one. So that's Long Point in the distance. And this one is called Rippled. And look how the wood grain in this one came out after I washed it with the matte medium and, and acrylic paint. I mean, it just spoke to me about being the Moors. So that one turned out well. And then I have this piece, which is actually Conant Street. And I call this, there's a space, which is the conundrum that we have sometimes about trying to find a parking space in Provincetown. But you can see Pop and Dutch down at the end of the street that used to be the old uh, Provincetown um, general store years ago. And this is a different take on the jetty where we have it at a bit of an angle. And then this one is called I think at the dock and I love this golden hue and this one, the reflections, you can see more of the detail. So the way that red boat pops. And this one's called Zinnia. This is also those um, days cottages, but this is the street side um, and you can see the harbor, the bay in the distance there. Um, this one in the center, they're all named after flowers. I think you may already know that, but this one is called Zinnia. So that's the name of the piece as well. And then I finally have another one up here that's called uh, From the Cove, I think. And it is uh, a large 24 by 24. And like the other larger pieces, it's also on uh, basswood. And look at the grain in that. Um, sorry, you don't get a direct shot because it's hung um, kind of high here in the gallery. But that one is called From the Cove. So there we go. That's the 31 pieces. I hope this video doesn't go too long. Um, so thanks for joining me. I am so happy that you did. And for your continued support because um, you guys are making this happen. And what else did I want to tell you? So I wanted to let you know that there's a link in this description that you can go right to to look at more details about any of these pieces and actually see some still shots where, where I'm not holding the camera, um, which might be nice. And then um, also that on my website, which is frederickstudioprovincetown.com, you can click to the Provincetown Art Gallery Association um, and they have an amazing website. I'm a member and um, there's so many great um, artists that show here in Provincetown in a number of galleries. So please check out PAGA. And then lastly, I just wanna say my next show is called Deep, Rich, and full, and it's going to be on October 7th. So I think that's 
five weeks away, which gives me a little bit more time. And um, it's gonna be a emotional, passionate body of work um, based on um, what I've learned about love in the last six, seven months or more, um, but it's called Deep, Rich, and Full. And um, I'm looking forward to doing that um, virtual tour and it'll be the last one of the season unless I decide to do a recap tour, which will um, encompass you know multiple pieces from various shows of the year, which I've done in the past and it's usually called a parting glance. So that may happen um, in November, but stay tuned and you can always check the events tab of my website to find out what's coming up next. And again, thank you so much for joining. Um, it means so much to me and, um, and that you all continue to collect my work. So thank you.